Good morning, dear listeners. Uh, this is the second podcast on the principle of mind, and uh, we have already established in the first podcast the first hermetic principle, as expressed in the Kaibalion, that which says that everything from the whole material universe, its energy, the phenomena of life, and all the different living beings contained in the universe are nothing other than minds, self, perceptions uh, and its own manifestations. So this means that um, the timeless mind uh, expresses itself to itself in infinite variety and uh, each variety is uh, its own self perceptions of reality. So saying this we can define mind as both singular and infinitely plural although these definitions don't apply to mind because it's beyond uh, these constructions of concepts uh, to define it so uh, but if we you know if we want to have a, a kind of a general idea um, in our limited mind of what it can be it's um, basically both singular and plural at the same time um, but this is timelessly so which means that this this is not uh, something that is coming to being at a certain point in time or which will never cease to exist another point is that this mind of pure being is not something external to be achieved is imminent in its own creation so it's at the heart of every conscious sentient being uh, and is present as the power of manifestation of that being. Um, so this is a kind of a ground of potentiality for all that appears. Uh, this mind is uh, beyond any laws. So in the Kabbalion, seven laws are described. And the first one is the principle or the law of mind, the principle of mind. And then there are other six, which um, we will cover in the next episodes. And uh, these other six are actually its manifestation. So the, and the manifestation is governed by unchanging laws. And one of the most important laws is the law of cause and effect. Uh, but to go back to the reality of mind, uh, we can uh, also say that uh, its generic character uh, has, um, is individualized and at the, at the same time is without any identity. So it's not uh, an identity being or state of being, it has no identity. Um, but it's individual in the sense that each individu individual sentient being is the totality of this expression of mind. Um, so this is um, all for today. Our podcast is very short because um, our attention uh, cannot uh, span for more than a few minutes. But um, there will be more podcasts on the principle of mind. Uh, as described in other traditions, which is the Christian tradition, um, the Hindu and the Buddhist and the Zachan tradition. Thank you for listening.